gentlemen. Today I'm going to be showing you how I go about staking this miniature delphinium. It's grown from seed. And uh, I think I'm going to call it, I don't know what to call it yet, Silk Shimmer. It looks absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, actually see through it. It's amazing. I know it's only small, but it's got to be one of the most beautiful things that I have ever grown from seed. I'm so proud of this plant. Anyway, back to staking it. What you want to do with these, I'll just set the camera properly. I need to see if this is right. Get that there, yeah, just like so. Yep. What you can do with these is get on the ground, maybe a little bit better. What you want to do is you don't want them right up against one well, at an angle so not straight up at a slight angle like so and then like so and then what you want to do is take your string or your wire whatever you're using you want to produce like a bit of a circle around it. So, first of all, tie it off. Like so. so I don't even want to gently pull it inwards. Like so. Then twist it around here. This is what I do. Do a good twist. And then around this side as well. But leave me some space. You don't want to too much pressure on it. That's it. So let's, let's give it a bit of space there. A bit of space this side. And tie it off. It's really simple as that. Make sure you've got plenty of room. Right. Tie it off now. There we go. Again, yeah, these are grown from seed last year. These, oh no, yeah, yeah, last year. Oh, yeah, as you can see, that has been staked. It gives it plenty of room, so when the wind's blowing, to blow it about. Because if you tie these two tightly, what tends to happen is the top will vibrate with the wind and it will snap about there and you'll just lose lose your flower heads so yeah I'm dead happy with that give that a good water now so yeah silk shimmer I'm going to call this one absolutely gorgeous like I said just being able to see through the leaves just amazes me every time I grow something from seed definitely a keeper this one probably take some cuttings from it next year put it in some of my baskets and some of my pots and some of the plants so yeah that's how to stake your delphiniums that you're growing in pots if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask if you like the videos please subscribe folks remember happy sowing happy growing and please give me a thumbs up and keep yourself safe thank you bye